and then remembering and then and then and then and again and then it's weird because I'm looking at <laughs> daughters and Jen. <laughs> and this week on Remember When, of course, we're building the WrestleMania. A lot of stuff it seems to be coming together. And uh, one of the great suggestions, I think, LB, you had this one, is what were some of your favorite uh, builds to WrestleMania, right? Yes. Builds to WrestleMania <coughs> matches, whether the WrestleMania match is delivered or not. Oh, boy. Let's talk about the lead-up. Wants to know. <laughs> so let us know so who wants to go first what's your favorite build favorite build we got a lot of you guys so let's uh keep them a little bit short this week i'll go okay I, a little bit short i, I, I do it because he's low to the ground andre and hulk hogan okay i mean the turn of Andre, him ripping the shirt off of Hulk Hogan, and like, and the cross, which stabbed Hogan and made him bleed from the chest. I mean, I was like, ooh, this is serious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I mean, that was a great build as watching it as a kid. So, that's my choice. I, I remember seeing a recap so many times on the old tapes, you know, leading into WrestleMania, some of the old Hulkamania tapes and everything like that. Um, yet that, that accidental bleeding was like, was just icing on the cake for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what about you, uh, the ladies, since I'm on this hangout, uh, what, uh, Dutters or Jen, do you have, have anything? Being the Gator says, <laughs> we're going to steal, um, you guys brought up, uh, Taker and Punk. We're going to steal that from you. Okay. Because that was uh, that, that was a pretty solid build up, and actually the match delivered. That was that was definitely one of my favorite Taker matches. Actually, favorite Punk matches too. Mm -hmm. Is that your joint answer? All three of you there? <laughs> yes, all three of us, <laughs> including the Gator. Dean, Dean would wishes it was Dean uh, wants to go with you know the Shield, but uh, we're we're not quite sure about that. <laughs> Awesome. Actually, the, <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> Shield versus Kane and the Outlaws has been pretty good. Too. Yeah, that is true. That mm -hmm. is good. Of a, especially after last night. Yeah. How, how good of a build up that was. Corporate. Oh, my shield. <laughs> awesome. What about you, Mad Mike? Um, I'm going to say Shawn Michaels and Chris Jericho. That, like. Shawn Michael, like Chris Jericho idolizing Shawn Michaels and then saying he wanted to be the first Chris Jericho and then leading to him trying to be number one in the Rumble with Shawn number two, throwing Shawn out of the Rumble, that whole thing. And then it led to one of my favorite WrestleMania matches ever. And that's so, not even that that's not even the later one where he was in the suit and, and, and that one where he punched his wife and everything like that. Like this oh, was, yeah. this was years before that. Oh, yeah, this was still when Sean was, like, unsure. Of, like, it was Sean's first Mania back. Mm -hmm. So he was still unsure that he could perform at that level, and that match delivered well beyond the build. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, what about you, uh, Bobby F. J. Town? Punching I'm going to go a little different here. I'm going to go with the first ever Money in the Bank match. Okay. Uh, just yeah. based on the fact that um, Jericho invented it, and we didn't we didn't know what it was gonna be like at the time, and we, we were all wondering like what the heck is this gonna be? And it, it, it just stole the show at WrestleMania. I, I think that's why it's like one of my favorite moments from WrestleMania, regardless of you know. Nice. That first one was amazing. Uh, AJ, are you on? I see you're muted. I don't know if you, are you are you gonna be be on this one. AJ, maybe. Maybe we'll I see. Think he froze. We'll see if he comes back here. Um, all right. What about you, uh, uh, Riz? Uh, again, the match was horrible. But uh, <laughs> the Goldberg Brock Lesnar feud mm -hmm. was pretty good. <laughs> okay. yeah. I, I I know. I hear the groans. And I was like, there. And the breathing in the mic. I love the groan. <laughs> But having those two, the, the two build up for that match, having like those two big guys going at it that people wanted to see back then, they wanted to see that match. There, there didn't have to be a build in that. Mm -hmm. It's just those two guys going at it, mm -hmm. and people wanted to see it happen. Until and they then, did. <laughs> and, and, th and then it happened. And then, and then it's it also kind of cool that Goldberg costs um, 
Brock Lesnar the belt, and that's how Eddie won it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What about you, LB? LB? Let's box. Hi. What's up? <laughs> What's yours? I thought Lunchbox turned into a dog there for a second. <laughs> He's barking. Barking his answer. That was my dog. That's weird. Sorry about that. That, so that was his I, answer. He was I, excited I, I for it. I just into a dog briefly, but I'm back now. Okay. Back. Okay. Um, okay. So, uh, Wrestle, uh, WrestleMania. <laughs> Are you drunk right now? Shut up! No, I'm not drunk this week, okay? I'll be drunk next week. I'm not drunk this week. Maybe I'll be drunk next week. Fuck you. 1993, (laughs) Royal Rumble, The Undertaker, you know, nobody was acknowledging that it was a streak, but he had Paul Bearer, and he had a terrible match against Giant Gonzalez. And every week, (laughs) come out in his crazy fucking animal suit and beat up people and... I, it just, I remember w- looking at him and thinking, what the fuck is have even happening right now? The bodysuit, man. And then they fell, followed that up with a rest in peace match with, at SummerSlam. I'm watching, I was watching the Raw when I woke up this morning to, of, of leading up into that. It was, it was pretty <laughs> ast- yeah. am- amazing. Um, I still can't believe that one ended in like a disqualification involving chloroform. Yep, yep. Not a lot of you yeah. chloroform they tried guys. To kill him. Oh no, no. It was ether. It was ether. <laughs> Nobody cares. Bobby Who's is, next? Bobby. Knows the difference between chloroform and ether? Apparently. Awesome. Did anybody uh, provide us with this ether? Uh, Harvey Whippleman. Yes, yes. Harvey Whippleman apparently no has plans here. Has has the hookup as far as that goes. Uh, you know, mine is the time where uh, building up in WrestleMania. Uh, the title had been vacated. Uh, Kane had been um, um, banned from WWE City, and then there was a giant fire bear involved as well. Um, so I, I think that was like the most unique build. The WrestleMania. Wait, you WrestleMania. You mean like in the Scooby Doo cartoon? Uh, no, I think this really happened. I don't think it wasn't a no, cartoon. That, that, it was so Scooby realistic. It was on last night, Riz. How do you not remember that WrestleMania? No, it was let's, completely. Let's, I saw it on the network. I think so. So that's Scooby. definitely. And then my, the Punisher re- removed his mask, and it was like, "It was me, Scooby. It was me all along." Yeah. Yeah. No, I did watch that today, and that was very interesting. I mean, we'll touch on that in a moment. Uh, but no, I, <laughs> I had a real answer. What was my real answer? Oh, Sergeant Slaughter and Hulk Hogan. I remember, uh, again, as being a child that didn't really understand that we were at a war, apparently, uh, just being captivated yeah. by this. Um, because it was kind of the height of all-American <laughs> good guy Hulk Hogan uh, to me. Uh, versus something, somebody who I remembered as a GI Joe originally. <laughs> Actually, before I knew him as a GI Joe, before I knew him as a wrestler, is how how I kind of worked that out, um, and that always confused me as well. And, and and I was refreshed of that with the Legends Roundtable with him talking. Mm-hmm. They were talking about patriotism. Uh, that was, Patri- great Legends Pat- Roundtable. That was a great Legends Roundtable. Yeah, it's on WWE Network. Go check that out. Um, and they had Slaughter on there talking about when he went Iraqi. He even talked about when he. You know, to turn face the first time to fight, uh, uh, you know, Iron Sheik from Iran and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, great talk about that. Uh, how how serious that that became for them that they had to have security and everything like that. And and it just that on top of everything leading to the uh, Macho Man Ultimate Warrior uh, retirement match, I thought was fantastic as well. Um, so what, did I just take yours? Did I just take yours? Oh, I didn't dive too much, and I don't remember as much of that build. Can you can you tell me a little bit about that? What do you remember, Missy, wife of the show? <laughs> Pretty much just that, um, like what you were just talking about, that the warrior was WWE champ. Yeah, and he had the Royal Rumble match with Sergeant Slaughter. Randy Savage interfered. Yep, and the they put them in for this big match. Um, but my big, my favorite thing about it was the uh, Randy Savage, Miss Elizabeth reunion after the fact, and then they finally got married at SummerSlam. So that was like my big yay type of moment match when I was a kid. Match in a match made in hell. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I, still I got it. I got it. I got that one. And Doc Remedy for not reenacting that entirely during their wedding. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm very upset with them yeah. for not doing that. Yeah, yeah. 
for sure. Because awesome. Doc Remedy in that hat would have been a wedding to remember. <laughs> you know, even better than the hat would have been the glasses. That's true. <laughs> nice nice with that i think we got everybody there let me know if i'm wrong but if you have your wrestlemania build moments please let us know uh in the youtube comments on awesome or i'm sorry uh, at mayhem show on twitter or in the comments on the uh wrestling mayhem show facebook group or facebook google plus wherever you find us let us know uh so with that let me tell you guys about t-shirts